Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about installing the iTunes app on your Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is go ahead and open up a web browser. Doesn't matter which one, but we're going to open up Microsoft Edge for today's tutorial. And you want to navigate over to Google.com and you want to search for iTunes and just go ahead and search for that. Select the downloads link. So go ahead underneath iTunes Apple. Make sure you're on support.apple.com by the way. And you want to select the iTunes for Windows and if you want to download the 64-bit if you're on Windows 11 and go ahead and select the download button. You can also download the general iTunes option here on the third option here too you can do that but we're just going to select the 64-bit download here because almost all if not all of you guys should be running a 64-bit operating system on Windows 11 because that is a requirement at the time of this recording so I don't really see that changing honestly And once it's done downloading, go ahead and open that up. You can minimize or close out of the web browser too at this time. Go ahead and select next. And then you can customize your options here. If you want to add a shortcut to your desktop, you can. If you want to use iTunes as a default player for audio files, you can as well. In my personal use, I uncheck that and automatically update iTunes and other Apple software. That's okay. I mean, that's optional for you guys and select install. All the options are optional for you guys, but go ahead and select yes if you receive a user account control prompt. And now select yes. And once that's done, you can go ahead and open iTunes after the installer exits. Otherwise, you can uncheck that if you want. doesn't matter to me. It's done, though, and select Finish. And that is pretty much it. It looks like it will open up. You will have to accept the software license agreement. Select Agree. So that's pretty much it, guys. So, as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do be able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.